let's have a look at the quick access toolbar in Office 2010. This is going to let us do some customizing and add some quick buttons that we can use on our interface to speed up our work process. Let's have a look. Let's look at something that's in Office 2010 called the Quick Access Toolbar. This lets us go in and have a little place where we can add buttons and certain commands that we use all the time and have them readily available in our document. So the Quick Access Toolbar by default, and I'm looking at Microsoft PowerPoint here, will be sitting right at the top of the screen. And we can see by default, we always have three buttons on it. We have a Save button, an Undo button, and a Redo button. And that's great. We also have this little part next to it, this little drop down menu, it's a little arrow. And if I click on that there, it'll open up my menu where I can customize the Quick Access Toolbar. So what I can do from here is I can actually go in and add new buttons on it. You can see the list of the basic buttons here. If I want a new button on my Quick Access Toolbar, I'll click new and there you'll see it just shows up. To turn it off I can go to the menu and click on that same button and it just disappears. So I can go and I can customize this the way I want to by clicking these different commands. You'll also see from that menu we have a few different options here uh, towards the bottom. We can show the quick access toolbar below the ribbon and if I click that you'll see it pops down here and I have a big long toolbar where I can add a whole bunch of commands to. If that's useful to you, great. If we need to switch it back, go back to that drop down menu and choose show above the ribbon and you'll see it flips back up here to the top. We can customize this even more, however, if I go back to that drop-down menu, I can go over here and I can choose more commands. And if I click that, it takes me to my options dialog box and navigates me to the quick access toolbar portion. Here we can see it's comprised of two different areas. We have on the left all of the commands available in this particular program that I can add to the toolbar. Over here on the side shows me my quick access toolbar as it is with the commands I have. What I can do is I can go through here to this drop down menu and I can navigate to all these areas of Word, for example, or pardon me, PowerPoint, all of these different areas such as the insert tab or the file tab or any macros I've created. I'll pick one of these areas, for example, maybe the insert tab, and maybe I want a button to be able to insert audio from file. I can choose the command here, come over here, press the add button, and you'll see it swaps over to show up on my quick access toolbar. I can also control the order on the toolbar in which it appears. Basically, top to bottom on this list here reflects left to right on the quick access toolbar over here. So if I need the audio from file to be in a different position, I can use the up and down arrows here to move it to a different area. And as soon as I press OK here, you can see my quick access toolbar updates. What also might be useful is being able to reset the toolbar back to the default. And if I go back to that menu, choose more commands, I can come into this area down here at the bottom where you can see customizations and a reset button. If I click reset, I can tell it to reset only the quick access toolbar. It's going to ask me if I'm sure. I'll say yes. And there it goes back to my default buttons. So you can spend a bit of time going in, customizing, adding your own commands, and speed up your workflow inside of Microsoft Office. So there you have the quick access toolbar in Office 2010. If you want to do more customizing, keep in mind you can also customize the ribbon. You can add your own tabs and add your own tools. For more information on that, check out our video on customizing the ribbon.